What is up guys and welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today once again we're gonna take a look at this picture right here um, posted by Travis Scott. He posted it a few days or maybe weeks ago but you guys have been requesting this look a lot so today I'm gonna show you how to recreate these colors with your mobile photography using only your smartphone and the free Lightroom app and of course as always I've also created a preset on exactly this look. If you want to save some time it's linked under this video you can download it from that all preset pack that I've created for you with over 250 other presets that you can easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great and the cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets such as this one today they're automatically updated to the pack so you just have to buy it once and you'll get that growing presets pack which is a great deal so make sure to check that out link is under this video of course subscribe hit the notifications bell and if there's anything else you need from me as always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle and I'm really always open for your conversation, um, for your ideas, for new videos, whatever, you name it, just send it to me and I'll reply as fast as I can. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing we want to do of course is open our picture in the Free Lightroom app. So we open the app right here. I've chosen this picture of the weekend because the settings come quite close. Obviously it's taken on a mobile phone, the one of Travis Scott probably with a film camera, um, but I wanna show you how to do it with the mobile phone. So this picture is the perfect base. The first thing we do in the lights tab is go to curve on the upper right side. And then what you wanna do is recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. Maybe take your time, pause the video, um, do a screenshot, and then really try and get as close to this curve as you can with that curve on the upper right side, on that highlight side. Once you have this, we're done here. Then what we wanna do is just boost up the contrast to around plus 60 here. Boost up the highlights as well to plus 24. Boost up the shadows to plus 20 and the whites we're gonna leave at zero but the blacks we want to pull down to negative 54 right there to give that to give it that good contrast once we have this we go over to the colors tab here you just want to pull down the temperature a little bit to negative 11 then we pull down the saturation on the bottom here to around negative 19 then we scroll up hit the mix on the upper right side and now the orange tones the skin tones what we want to do in this case is just kind of boost up the hue a little bit to around plus 13, boost up the saturation to around 31 or 30 is perfect, and pull down the luminance to negative 20 or 19. Once we have this, we're done. Then we go to grading right next to it there. For the shadows, we're gonna choose a hue of around 26, then boost up the saturation to around 50. 53 is perfect. Mid-tones, 51 for the hue and the saturation up to around 20, 24. And then the highlights here, we're gonna use a blue hue. So we're gonna choose a um, value of 210 and the saturation up to around 39 or 40 right there. Once we have this, we're done. And the last thing we do is go over to the effects tab. And now you want to just boost up the texture a little bit to around plus 14. The clarity, we're gonna boost that up to plus 43. The dehaze, we're gonna boost that up to around plus 12 to, give it, to get it even more crispy. And then the grain, of course, to give it that vintage film look, we're gonna boost that up a little bit to around 29 or 28 right here. And that is it already, we are done here. You can export the file now, you have it in your camera roll, and this is the final result. Here's a little before and after. And I think in terms of the colors, we came really close to this Travis Scott picture um, that we were going for. I hope you liked this tutorial, I hope this was valuable for you. Of course, if you wanna save some time, I've created a preset on exactly this look. As I said in the beginning, it's linked under this video and it's in that all presets pack. Most of you guys already have this all presets pack with more than 250 presets that you can easily choose from, um, paste to your pictures, make it look great. And the cool thing about this pack is that once you buy it, you get all the new presets, such as this one today, um, in there for free. So you just have to get it once and get a growing presets pack, which is a great deal. So make sure to check that out. Link is under this video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell. And as I said already, 
If there's anything else you need from me, new ideas for new videos, new requests, inspiration, just questions in general, always feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm really always happy for your feedback. Now, thank you so much for the love, the support on this channel, and of course, thanks for watching the video. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.